Hello, dear comrades and friends. It's my pleasure to bring you militant May Day greetings from the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Canada. We wish you every success in your work to mobilize working people across the United States against U.S. imperialism and NATO wars of aggression in Europe and around the world, and in defense of the interests of working people everywhere for peace, for climate justice, for a people's recovery from capitalist crisis, and for fundamental social change leading to working class political power and socialism. Working people in our hemisphere have the first responsibility to oppose the war hysteria and war propaganda that emanates from the imperialist centers in North America and that is saturating the airwaves with lies and confusion. Their aim is not peace, but war. Their aim is not Ukraine, but Russia. As Canada's Deputy Prime Minister made clear when she tabled her war budget last month, with $8.5 billion for NATO, NORAD, new fighter jets and warships, and Ukraine. It's in our national interest, said Christian Freeland, to ensure Ukraine has the missiles and the money they need to win. We can only be safe once the Russian tyrant and his armies are entirely vanquished, and that is what we are counting on Ukraine to do, she said. Canada's parliament is in lockstep with the Biden administration on the war in Europe, as it is on virtually every war today. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin confirmed that with his statement last week that the goal is to weaken Russia. It's not to end the war. It's not to secure a ceasefire or a political solution. It's to prolong the war. And the deaths and destruction that ensue are just collateral damage for NATO and imperialism. The, ba the battleground is Ukraine, but the prize is the coveted resources and markets of Russia today and China tomorrow. The goal is to restore U.S. imperialism's dominant position in the world. While the Russian invasion was unjustified, it was not unprovoked. With NATO forces now surrounding Russia, with missiles and troops on all her European borders, despite the 1991 agreement that NATO would not expand east of Germany. This May Day, the survival of the planet hinges on the rising of the people against war and the very real and imminent threat of nuclear war starting in Europe and spreading to engulf the globe. The mass peace and anti-war movement that rose up to oppose the war in Vietnam is what we need to build today. The mass anti-globalization movement that rocked the corporate world 20 years ago is what we need today. The mass movement against climate change can link with the movement for peace in opposing the huge military expenditures that are the single biggest producers of carbon by governments. The mass trade union movement can link up with the peace movement in opposing vast military expenditures and demanding investments in job creation, in building affordable social housing, in expanding Medicare to include drugs and long-term care, dental care, in making post-secondary education free and eliminating student debt, in building a quality public system of childcare that's free, in transitioning from fossil fuels to renewable energy and guaranteeing the jobs and wages of workers caught in the transition. On this May Day, we have a world to win and a world to save. Workers of the world unite. Mm -hmm.